Welcome to Acme Electric's TV series training module. With a reputation for high quality and performance, the TV series is the cornerstone of Acme's industrial control product offering. Within this training module, the following topics will be presented. An overview of industrial control transformers and what makes them unique. Common applications for industrial control transformers the features and benefits of Acme's TB Series, the steps for selecting the correct TB Series part number for your application, and finally, we'll present available options for overcurrent protection. What is an industrial control transformer? First and foremost, it's a transformer. It converts alternating current from one voltage to another. Using the laws of induction, the transformer is used to step up or increase the voltage or step down or decrease the voltage. Like commercial grade transformers, the control transformer consists of adjacent windings made from copper wires and cores made from electrical grade steel. Control transformers have no moving parts and therefore are considered a solid state device. The field service life is extremely long, possibly spanning decades. The second attribute of a control transformer is that it is an isolation transformer. In other words, the primary and secondary windings are electrically isolated from each other. There is no electrical connection. If there is an electrical anomaly in one winding, perhaps a power quality issue or problem, electrical isolation mitigates the impact on the adjacent winding. This can help protect sensitive components and improve the overall safety of the system. What is unique about control transformers and what distinguishes it from commercial grade transformers is the high degree of secondary voltage stability. Control transformers are designed to provide a relatively stable output as the load on secondary windings spans from no load conditions to full load to momentary overload conditions. This momentary overload condition is commonly referred to as inrush current. Industrial control transformers are commonly referred to as control transformers, machine tool transformers, or control power transformers. How are control transformers used in industrial applications? Control transformers, or ICTs, are generally used to control electromagnetic components. These electromagnetic components characteristically have two different electrical current requirements. The first current requirement is called volt ampere inrush, or simply inrush. The current level associated with inrush is typically many times the amount of current required to power the component under normal operating conditions. Inrush, the current level required to energize the coil within the electromagnetic component. The second current requirement, known as sealed volt amperes. This is the amount of current required to maintain contact within the circuit. Sealed volt amperes appear immediately after the dissipation of the inrush current. What are the ICT applications? ICTs typically power the following components in industrial applications. Contactors such as magnetic starters for electrical motors. Solenoids used processes that require small amounts of movement or to lock, hold, or punch. Relays that switch on and off large electrical loads. Timers that activate and shut down HVAC, refrigeration, or lighting equipment as required cooling fans, and air conditioners used to cool industrial control panels.
And now, on to Acme's TB Series Control Transformers. Let us begin with the electrical features of the TB Series. First, the TB Series is an open style control transformer. The coils are wound around a split bobbin and secured from the outside world by UL approved insulation material. Its construction is straightforward, robust, and reliable. The TB Series is designed with a 130 degrees centigrade insulation system with a maximum 80 degrees centigrade temperature rise. The TV series is offered in voltages of 600 V and below and range in VA size from 50 VA to 1000 VA. Most TV series models can operate in both 50 and 60 Hertz applications. Finally, the TB series runs cool and provides an exceptionally low secondary voltage drop between no load and momentary overload conditions. This excellent secondary voltage regulation assures reliable operation of electromagnetic components and may permit the use of smaller and less expensive control transformer in some applications. The TB Series core is constructed of high-grade silicon steel. This minimizes core losses and increases the efficiency of the transformer. The frame and mounting plates are constructed of heavy gauge steel. Through slots in the mounting plate are designed to accommodate variations in the mounting hole locations in the panel. Termination to the TB series is made via molded in terminal blocks. The terminal blocks are designed to provide easy connection to various styles of wire terminations, from ring terminals to solid stranded conductors. The terminal blocks have isolation barriers that prevent arc over between adjacent terminals. Finally, the termination is designed to utilize series parallel connecting links. This provides the installer the flexibility to set various primary and secondary voltage levels while minimizing the amount of wire and labor required. Every TB series product is designed to meet or exceed the most stringent quality and safety standards in the industry. The TB series is offered in 11 different voltage groups and many voltage groups offer multiple primary and secondary voltage taps. If you know the line voltage you have available and you know the control voltage you need, there is more than likely a TB series transformer that will meet your needs. To select the TB Series product that is right for your application, use the following easy five-step selection process. First, determine the voltage and frequency of the supply circuit. For example, you may have available to you 460 volts at 60 Hz frequency. Next, determine the total inrush VA of the control circuits from the manufacturer's data or the contactor data table. Do not forget to include the current requirements of indicating lights and timing devices that do not have inrush VA but are energized at the same time as other components in the circuit. Their total VA should be added to the total inrush VA. Now, refer to the regulation data chart. If the supply circuit voltage characterized in step one is reasonably stable and fluctuates no more than plus or minus 5%, refer to the 90% secondary voltage column. If it fluctuates as much as plus or minus 10%, refer to the 95% secondary voltage column. Search down the column you have selected until you arrive at the inrush VA that is closest to 
but not less than the inrush VA of your control circuit. Next, read to the far left side of the chart to find the continuous nominal VA rating of the required transformer. The secondary voltage that will be delivered under inrush conditions will be either 85%, 90%, or 95% of the rated secondary voltage depending on the column selected from the regulation data chart. Remember, the total sealed VA of the control circuit must not exceed the nominal VA rating of the transformer selected from the manufacturer's data or the contactor's data table. Finally, reference section 5 of ACME's full line catalog or go to acmetransformer.com to select the TB series part number corresponding to the required continuous nominal VA and the primary secondary voltages. Overcurrent protection, UL508, the safety standard for industrial control devices, and the National Electric Code Article 450, which defines the requirements for the safe installation of a transformer, require overcurrent protection on all control circuit transformers. There are two options. First, the control transformer can be installed into a system with overcurrent protection on the primary only. Or, option two, is a provision for overcurrent protection on both the primary and secondary voltage circuits. The table shown in the lower right hand corner of the slide provides the appropriate fuse size for primary and secondary voltage circuits. The size of the fuse is dependent on both the VA rating of the transformer and primary and secondary voltages respectively. This information is available in ACME's full line catalog. ACME Electric can help with your fusing needs by providing fuse kits designed for field installation or by assembling a fuse block on the transformer at the factory. Field installation of primary fusing for your TB series can be accomplished using the PL1127 series primary fuse kit. These kits include a mounting bracket, a fuse block designed to use class CC fuses, and the necessary jumper wires. Installation is fast and easy. Once the transformer is installed, simply loosen the mounting hardware, slide the bracket over the transformer, then retighten the mounting hardware. Next, use the factory furnished jumper wires to make the proper connections. Your TB series transformer is now ready for operation. The PL799 series fuse kit provides a fast, easy, and low-cost solution for secondary fusing. These are designed to be used with dual-element, slow-blow fuses that provides secondary circuit protection while accommodating the momentary inrush current. The Type PL112603 secondary fuse kit is designed to be incorporated with the series PL1127 series primary fuse kit. The PL112603 fuse block snaps onto the primary fuse block prior to installing the primary fuse kit. Jumper wires are provided to make the necessary connections between the secondary fuse block and the transformer. As previously mentioned, fuse blocks can be installed at the factory. If a factory installed primary fuse block is desired, simply add F2 suffix to the transformer part number. Add the F3 suffix if you wish to have a primary and secondary fuse block installed at the factory. Factory installed fuse blocks are standard options on transformers in voltage group A up to 500 VA and voltage group B up to 1000 VA. If you wish to have a fuse block added to a transformer that is part of a different voltage group, please contact your local distributor 
or Acme sales representative. That concludes the TB series training module. But before wishing you farewell, I'd like you to consider why you should choose Acme as the partner for your electrical product needs. Acme Electric is a full line manufacturer with a legacy built on a reputation for providing the highest quality electrical products. We manufacture power conversion, power quality, and industrial control products designed to meet the needs of your application. We now have nine warehouses strategically located throughout the U.S. that are prepared to turn around your order quickly. And we have a world-class technical support team with the experience and know-how to help you with product selection, installation, and troubleshooting. If you have any questions on the TB series, or any Acme product for that matter, please contact your local Acme sales representative or contact Acme directly at 1-800-334-5214. Sales contact can be found at acmetransformer.com backslash sale underscore contacts. Thank you for participating in Acme's TV series training module.